What's going on guys, the Vital Syntax here, and this will be the first video in the series of four videos that go over the four classes in Battlefield 4, and we're going to talk about the upgrades, the tweaks, and the changes that they've made coming from Battlefield 3. So in this first video, we're talking about the Recon class. Now we have four confirmed weapons so far that are in the current alpha build of the game. The first one is the Scout Elite, it's a bolt action sniper rifle, we've seen this in some of the gameplay trailers. Uh, there's a lot of gameplay of this rifle online on YouTube and they also showed it during the E3 2013 live stream. And I also have two videos of the specific gun on my channel if you guys want to check those out. We also have the QBU-88, it's a semi-automatic sniper rifle and this is the one that we had in Battlefield 3. And we know that this game's gun's gonna be in the game because it was in some of the leaked alpha screenshots that came out right before E3 started and before we actually saw gameplay. The third one is the SV-98. This one was shown off in those leaked gameplay screenshots as well. And there's also some leaked data files from the Battlefield 4 Alpha that somebody leaked out that had a list of a bunch of weapons, a bunch of upgrades to uh, vehicles, and just a bunch of information. There'll be a link in the description to that document if you want to kind of sift through. There's a, there's a ton of stuff in there because it's kind of a, uh, a code file that actually has a bunch of information about the guns, like damage models and things like that. And then the last sniper rifle that we know is going to be in the game is the M82A3. Now the screenshot you're seeing here obviously isn't from Battlefield 4, it's from Battlefield Play for free, but just to give you an idea of what the gun might look like in Battlefield 4, here's a, here's a screenshot from Battlefield Play for free. And what's actually probably close to what we'll see in Battlefield 4, here's some gameplay of the M82 in Battlefield 3 single player. So the gun was in Battlefield 3, just not the multiplayer. And it's actually a 50 caliber sniper rifle. And in that data file, it actually lists it at, of having 110 points of damage. That means you could even kill a soldier if you shot him in the leg. So it'd be a one hit kill. And it says that the damage doesn't drop off until 50 meters, which is very, very long range and very, very powerful. Most sniper rifles in Battlefield 3 dropped off at 15 meters, or they started to drop at 15 meters, except for the SV-98, that one went to 20, and the SV-98 in this game is going to 25. So it does seem like they're increasing the range in general of the sniper rifles, and that's kind of a, a common theme that you see with the recon class, is that they're buffing it quite a bit to try and make it a little bit more viable. But the interesting thing about the M82A3 is that in the data file, it's not listed under the recon class. It's listed under a drop, like a, a crate. And from what I've heard from some of the people on Reddit that are currently playing the alpha, now I don't have access to the alpha, so this is not uh, you know, coming from somebody that's actually played it. This is coming from somebody that uh, you know, posted on Reddit and they were saying that there's certain locations on the map, set locations, where the MGL grenade launcher, which is the like revolver type of grenade launcher that's semi-automatic, and the M82A3 both spawn in static locations. And it sounded like you could actually control where they spawn as a supply drop as the commander role. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. I, I heard him say that the M82 actually will spawn at a specific location on top of the skyscraper. Now this is a really interesting mechanic because some game modes I'm guessing aren't going to have this weapon because you know you're not going to have a commander mode or just wouldn't fit in like if you're playing team deathmatch you're not going to have a set location on the map and just in general having a set location is kind of a, a strange concept to me because people are going to be camping that location to get these really powerful guns. I mean the M82A3 sounds like it's going to be the best possible sniper rifle you can get. Really the only downside of it is that it has a slow traveling bullet. Um, but you know, it's semi-automatic, it's going to be a one-hit kill almost up to 50 meters at any, maybe if you shoot them in the foot or something they might survive, but if you shoot them anywhere else they're going to be dead. So I'm interested to see if that's something that they just currently are working with. I'm guessing it's something that they're just testing out, they're trying to figure out how different game mechanics are going to work. I mean this is still alpha stage of the game, so, but it's still interesting that there's a 50 caliber sniper in the game. Keep in mind that there was a 50 cal in the beta and the alpha for Battlefield 3. They ended up removing it for balancing purposes, supposedly, so that might see, we might see that same thing happen with, with Battlefield 4. All right, moving on to the equipment. Uh, the first one is a uh, ability to zero your scope, and you can actually change it from zero meters to 100 meters, 200 meters, all the way up to 1,000 meters in increments of 100. 
and that allows you to essentially gauge the distance from your your gun to the target that way you can shoot in the center of your screen instead of having to compensate for bullet drop by shooting above a target and that's a really cool concept i don't necessarily think that's an attachment but it seems like all of the uh, sniper rifles that have you know large magnification scopes like a six times or a, an eight times or even like a 12 times or 20 times scope uh, you'll be able to have that scope zeroing option available to you another addition to equipments and attachments is the variable uh, zoom scope and we saw this a couple times in the uh, E3 live stream footage where you can actually zoom in in multiple different levels, increase the magnification. And this is going to be a really awesome attachment that I can personally see myself using quite a bit as, uh, you know, when you have a medium, medium range engagement with a sniper, you want to have that lower magnification. But then when you're trying to shoot a longer range target, having that increased amount of magnification that you can switch to really quickly is going to help out a ton. On top of that, also having the uh, 45 degree angle iron sights is also be a really good option because you could have a scope, let's say an eight times scope, and then if you ever get into a closer medium range engagement, you can switch over to those iron sights to allow you to actually, you know, use the rifle somewhat effectively. I mean, obviously a sniper rifle is not going to be good up close. You would probably be better off switching to your pistol, you know, but at least you'll be able to aim a little bit better with, with iron sights than you would an eight times scope. Now, two of the big pieces of equipment that they're bringing back to the recon class from what they had in the same layout in Battlefield Bad Company 2 is number one, the motion ball sensors or motion sensor balls. So instead of having the tugs where you have to set that down or instead of having the MAV where you have to fly that around, and I don't know if they're going to have those in the game, but they are bringing back the motion sensor balls. Essentially, they're, uh, you get three of them supposedly when you spawn. You can throw them in a certain location like you would a grenade. But instead of blowing up and doing damage to enemies, it'll actually like ping on your radar on your mini map to show you where the location of enemy players are, as well as it'll give those locations to your squad mates, your teammates. So it'll be really, really useful and allow you to be a little more mobile. You know, with the tugs, you had to kind of set it down and then you could scan an area and then to pick it up and then move. Whereas this, you can kind of use them on the move and keep throwing them in front of your squad to, to scan an area. I think that's gonna be really awesome. And it's going to make the, the recon class just way more viable as a mobile type of role. The next piece of equipment is the C4. So not only did they remove C4 from the support class, so you can't use C4 any longer playing as a support, now it's only available to the recon class, the same way it was in Battlefield Bad Company 2. And well, in Battlefield Bad Company 2, you could actually use it in the assault class if you're using an all kit weapon like a shotgun or something like that but that's a different story but they've also in, in changed a couple of things about the c4 not only can you uh you know kind of throw the c4 a little bit like you could in bad company not quite as far but it'll actually slide on the ground so you can almost slide it across a street or something like that allowing you to kind of stay behind cover you don't just drop it on the floor like you do in battlefield 3 you can actually chuck it a little bit and it looks like it actually slides on the ground instead of just sticking to wherever you tossed it so it seems like it's gonna be a lot more effective because you don't have to, you know, get up like two feet away from the tank to actually put C4 onto it. And you can also use C4 while you're in the water. Now they've, they've done a bunch of improvements to the water mechanics, things like being able to go underwater, being able to shoot with the pistol, basically anything that requires one hand, you can do while in the water. And that includes planning C4. So if you, you know, come up behind a boat, in Battlefield 3, you couldn't do anything in the water, but now you actually be able to lay C4 onto the boat, lay C4 onto whatever, an amphibious tank, something along those lines and actually take it out with c4 which i think is pretty cool and uh two other things i wanted to mention about the recon class and then we'll wrap the video up is number one suppression so now suppression only works or it works more effectively uh, from the sounds of it you can still do it with something like a submachine gun or carbine or assault rifle but suppression is much more effective with something like a light machine gun or something like a sniper rifle and that's actually really awesome because it's hopefully going to negate a lot of the suppression issues that people have with Battlefield 3. And also suppression is more severe the farther you are away from the target, which also I think is going to uh, make a lot of people happy, including, including myself. So if you're playing as a recon, you'll actually be able to suppress people a lot more easily and you won't be able to be as suppressed as easily yourself unless you're getting shot at by you know, a light machine gun or a sniper rifle. And that's one of the most frustrating things as playing the recon class with something like a bold action sniper as you have to be so precise and you really only have like one or two shots to get to land that headshot or land two body shots with a bold action and if you're suppressed i mean it, you can't even shoot back so um i'm glad that they're you're they're trying to tweak some of the suppression things we'll have to see how that actually pans out once again things are going to change over time 
uh, up until their initial release. Another thing is spotting. So they've changed the way spotting was. Now, spotting is obviously something you could do in any class, but I wanted to bring it up in the recon class because I feel like the recon is kind of a reconnaissance role, obviously, from the title. And you have the motion mines to spot enemy players on the minimap. But also, spotting players now has a new mechanic. So instead of just tapping Q, 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 or backspace, back, 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 back on your keyboard or controller or whatever, now you actually you can do that, but you'll actually remove your hand from your gun and kind of point with your hand. So there's a little bit of an animation that goes along with it. That way you don't want to just spam Q over and over and over um, because there's a penalty. While you're spotting an enemy, you can't ADS. You can still hip fire, it looks like it, um, but I don't think you'll be actually be able to look down your sights and you know be accurate. So it's going to prevent people from just spamming the Q button and spotting anybody. And, and hopefully it'll kind of just balance out spotting in general for the game, you know, having to do with 3D spotting, which still looks like it's in the game. Hopefully they'll fix some of the issues and bugs with smoke as well, you know, being able to spot people through smoke, but I haven't seen anything about that yet. Anyway, that wraps up my overview for the Recon class and the changes and updates they've made for Battlefield 4 coming from Battlefield 3. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, you should subscribe because I do videos like this every day. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.